This is Karan from Tech Amigo, and today I'm going to show you how to unlock your bootloader, install a custom recovery, and root your UU record device. So, to do that, you may require the following files. I will just provide the download link in the description box below. Just download that things and place them in one folder on your desktop. So, once you're done with the downloading, now move to your device. Now in your device, go to settings, in that about phone and in that just click 6 to 7 times on your build number to enable the developer option. So once your developer option gets enabled in that just enable the advanced reboot and the android debugging. So click on ok and now the next step to follow is that we have to install the necessary drivers for your device so to do that the file which we have downloaded that is adb setup file we have to run that file to install the setup so just run that file just hit yes ask you to install the adb file and the fastboot hit y adb system wide hit y again now it will ask you to install the device drivers for your Eureka. So to do that, the first thing you need to do is to connect your mobile with your computer system. So take a USB and connect it with your laptop and your device. So once you're done with that, just enter Y and hit enter. Now here it is, the drivers for your Eureka are installed on your computer system. So the next thing we have to do is to place this super su file which is required for the routing of your Eureka in the SD card. I will provide download link for that in the description box too. So download that file and place it in your Eureka's external or internal memory card wherever you want. So once you're done with that, the next step is to enter into the fast boot mode. So to enter into the fast boot mode you need to switch off your device and grab your USB cable. So once your device gets switched off, now connect your device with your computer system. So while connecting make sure that you hold the volume up button when you connect your device with your laptop. So once you connect, you will see a red LED light glowing on your device, indicating that your device has entered into the fast boot mode. So now keep your device aside. Now the next step is to check whether your device is detected by your system in the fast boot mode. So to do that, right click on your my computer in that device manager and there you will see an option called as Android phones. Uh, so here it is the option called as android phones in that adb interface if the mark is not an exclamatory mark that means that your device is detected by your computer system and you are good to go so the next step is to unlock the bootloader for your device so to do that you have to open the folder where you have extracted the downloaded file so once you open that folder we have to open a command window here so to do that hold the shift key and then hit right click now you will see an option called as open the command window here now select that option now the command window for that specific folder has been opened so to unlock your bootloader first step is to enter that command so this command will indicate that whether your device is already unlocked or not so in my case the device is already unlocked so you will see that the uh, device unlocked is true that means that my device has already unlocked and it's uh, not required to unlock my bootloader again so the people who see it false you have to enter this command now paste it and hit enter so now your bootloader will be unlocked after you enter this command now the next step is to install the custom recovery in your device so here is the command for installing the custom recovery in your device now copy that and paste it in that cmd now 
here you will see that the name of the recovery dot image now you have to enter the name of the recovery file that you need to install in your eureka device so i will install the cwm recovery so i will copy the name of that recovery file and enter it into the cmd now here paste and hit enter now the CWM recovery is installed on your UEureka device and if you want to install a TWRP recovery in your UEureka just download the TWRP.image file and place it into the folder where you have extracted your early downloaded files and enter the name uh, in that name of the recovery.image part and hit enter. So now the next step is to unplug your device and enter into the recovery mode. So to enter into the recovery mode hold your power button and both the volume buttons until the phone vibrates. So now the device will enter into the recovery mode. Now here we will in, uh, root our UEureka device. So once you enter into the CWM recovery, locate the super su file that which we have placed earlier in our UEureka. So I have placed it in my external SD card. Here it is the update super so file just install that file Now the super so file will get installed in your device now the next is the important step is to clear your cache now clear your cache Once you clear your normal cache The next step is to clear your Delvi cache now. This is an important step because if you don't do this step the device may get entered into a boot loop so now clear the delvic cache so after you have done that just reboot your device so now your device will reboot and enter into the optimization mode that is since you have cleared your cache now all the apps in your device will get optimized so this will take some time so i'll just skip this part and show you the next part which is to be done So here it is now your device is rebooted so once you open your device you will see a super su application is installed in your device just open the device if it's not installed properly it will show that it has failed to update the binary if it doesn't that means that your super su file has installed correctly so now to check whether the device is rooted or not install a root checker application from the play store it's completely free once you install open the app and hit on verify root so it will ask you to grant permission just grant it and you will see that the device is rooted so now you have an unlocked bootloader custom recovery installed and a rooted device so if this video helped you just hit the like button below and if you want to get the further updates from this channel just hit the subscribe button below thanks for watching guys see you until next time